This video attempts to show beginners how to safely cross the rock channel in New Brighton. It's a great smooth hound venue between May and July. The crossing appears daunting at first, but it's really quite easy. The rock channel is situated in between Harrison Drive and New Brighton on the Wirral. You will see a T-shaped groin and a marker post. This is where we cross. Make your way down to the beach on the left-hand side of the T-groin and the crossing point is either 10 metres to the left or 10 metres to the right of the post. You can cross further to the left up to 60 metres, but we found nearer to the post to be the flattest terrain, but it's all sand. You will notice that there are barnacles and mussels growing around the post. As the tide goes out, you will notice the post gets thinner because the growth has been deliberately removed. Once the water has dropped about 15 inches on the thinner part of the post, the more experienced anglers start to cross. You should either follow someone else or wait another 5 to 10 minutes. OK, here we are down the path. If they just pan round out, we're going to cross to the left of the north coast. The problem we've got today is we've got a moderate northwest wind and it's creating a lot of chop on the surface. So obviously, if we're way down to here, the chop is going to come over our waves. So we're probably going to give it another five more minutes. And then we'll keep going. We made the decision, we've moved to the right of the post just to see how deep it is today and we're just going to start making the crossing now. It's also important to remember if you've got a mobile phone or any electronic equipment to keep it well clear of the water if you're wearing a backpack. A lot of people have actually lost their phones. Okay, you get a good indication from that chap where the water's coming up to. It is a bit choppy, but I think we might just do this. Sometimes if you can't get fully across, you just have to stand for a couple of minutes. Of course, this is going to be the one video where I take a dunking. We're, we're just about on our limit. Another tip, if there's somebody in front of you and they appear to be getting across, follow exactly in their tracks, which is what I'm about to do. I don't normally cross on the right hand side, I normally cross on the left, so this is actually quite new to me. But it looks like Ian's just about made it. Yeah, he's climbing I think there now. It's a 1.38 metre low water today. I think that equates to about a 29 foot something tide. But I have to say there is very, very little current. Sometimes you can be here and you get pulled from side to side. But today seems okay. There we go. That's it. So we're heading to where those waves are breaking there, and then that's the start of the sandbar. I don't know whether the camera can pick it out, but we're going to be heading up towards those wind turbines for about a mile. This is the really tiring part now, walking through this water. It's about a foot deep, but it's absolutely energy sapping. The thing with this mark is, the sooner you get out there, the better for catching. So we have to go through this each time. 
as we're walking out, you can see quite a few turns. We're very close into the edge. Uh, nice wind. Could be a de reasonable prospect of a few bass up and about. Fingers crossed. Okay, quick update. We have walked from down by those high-rise flats. You can see two anglers on the on the uh, sandbank now. But if you look back where the wall is, the coastal wall, we must be the best part of three quarters of a mile out to sea. And we're only about two thirds into our walk. Here we are again, we're at the mark. As you can see, the water's cleared off the sand. And if you look back to shore, opposite where I am now, I must be at least a mile out to sea. So this is the venue. I've got a long and low rig on, five ounce gripper, and in the early stages of the tide you want to launch it as far as you can. So if there's one thing I can guarantee now I'm making a video is I'll crack off. Aiming at one o'clock because of the tidal run. There we go. I was too frightened to crack off then <laughs> with filming, but that's only gone about 80 metres. Now let's wait. The early part of the tide is the best part. Let's see what happens. It looks like my friend Ian into a smoothie. Let's go and have a closer look. The trick here is when you go to help a friend is to make sure that your rod's not being pulled into the water. So I'll have to keep glancing back at mine. Getting near now, there's the shocky. A little pup. There we go. One little nice, nicely marked smoothie pup. Good, I'll let him take care of that. And back to my rod. What have you got in? Well, you put me to shame, I've not even had a bite yet. Well, there we are, fishing for smooth hand. And on my smooth hand rig. It's a little bit of place, is it? That's a dab. Well, it's amazing what you see on the beach, that's a big one. Okay, cold peeler on a pulley dropper with a 3 0 hook, grip a lead, tide running from right to left. And we've got him. Good stuff. Let's put the rod down. Go and have a look at him. There we 
Yep. Never pick smooth hound up by their tails because you can damage their internal organs that way. Big a mess. Oh, yeah, get your sling, I'll keep it in the water. It's all right. It's a big. This is at least a double, mate. It's all right. The bled had hardly hit the water. Oh, God, look at the strength in him. Seven. Nice fish. Okay, some final points. The channel is crossable approximately three hours before low water. On bigger tides, maybe 20 minutes earlier. On small tides, 20 minutes later. Wind with tide and wind against tide are also factors to take into consideration. Until you're experienced, leave the bank about 40 minutes after low. Remember, it takes 15 minutes to walk off. The channel can flood back as little as 80 minutes after low water, so don't get cut off. I hope this video has been of some use and it gives a flavour of what this mark has to offer. Many thanks to my son Andrew for editing this video because there's no way I could have done it. Tight lines!